Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Right off the bat, the message I was getting for this reading, I've been meaning to do this reading, is that a lot of you guys have options. You got options coming in as far as romance, maybe even friendships or whatnot. There's something about the way you carry yourself that has shifted that, or you could be a new girl in an environment where, you know, there's lots of different options, men or, you know, women or maybe a new guy, but there's something about the way you carry yourself that's attracting different people here. We're going to discuss some of those options here because I'm saying there's one option you may have already gotten some red flags about, but you're kind Kind of attracted to uh, some of you guys spirit might be a challenge in you to accept something a little bit different here some of you guys you feel like you can't find that balance like you either have somebody that's too on you like you know trying to love bomb you or you know doing going over the top to impress you that or somebody who wants you to chase them like you know and they don't do much at all like you know <laughs> some of you guys might not be noticing someone here that you have that's in balance and in alignment with what you want let's do it the classic way i'll take the oh we got the will of fortune coming up here, destiny, turning points, decisive moments, lucky, good fortune, cyclic nature. So some of you guys are going to become more decisive about the types of people you want in your life, or you might be trying to figure out what you want. Justice here, justice, upright attitude, transparency. I'm seeing also here, hmm, you're starting to figure them out and you're cutting them down. Somebody here might have wanted you just because someone else liked you. And you had somebody here who had more of a competitive nature and they wanted to compete with the other people who liked you. They may not have really even been that into you themselves. It's strange. I was going to skip that. Let's see. Here, yeah, lovers, but it came out in reverse. We got the lovers card here. So some of you guys are trying to differentiate from who really wants real love and relationships to um, uh, who just wants you for a good time. Conflicts, imbalance, trust issue, dangers of a broken marriage. That disharmony and but some a lot of you guys are practicing self-love i'm seeing here that some people they might have to practice how to receive love more and not just love generosity without feeling like they owe anybody anything like let someone pay for something for you without feeling like oh okay i'm in debt to this person yes so you guys you know you can accept the date it doesn't really mean that you owe anybody anything for that date some people here have had to deal with so much quid quo pro or people trying to uh buy them things to control them that it may have made you not trust people when it comes to treating you, spoiling you for the opposite measure. There might be someone here who's, hmm, there's someone here who had a lover. They may have even tried to dangle their lover in front of you to try to make you jealous. Like, I don't know, it's weird. They wanted you to want them type of energy. And now their love relationship is breaking up because they kind of use it. They know it's karma too. You might have, hmm, because they might have tried to use it to make you feel bad for not having a lover, like, you know, like their marriage, they might have tried to, I don't know. Now some people try to brag about it. Some people talk about their significant others. And then there's some people who try to use their significant others against single people to try to make them feel some type of way. And yeah, we got failing business, poor financial decisions, materialism coming out over that. So some of these people 
their love life might be breaking up because they um let me get some water my mouth so dry now i need my big thing of water sitting by when i'm doing these talking videos let's see what this card wanted to say financial disputes bankruptcy fleeting success debt family conflicts or burdens instability rocky or loose foundations here and that's coming out for the justice card um here that's the ten of pentacles in reverse i'm saying someone here might be losing their job dealing with some financial issues it could be dealing with karma due to you or that it's just the way they kind of go about trying to so justice is here and this is coming out in reverse under the justice card so your ju justice might be someone who was trying you or to try to use you or other people to try to get what they want out of life might be going financially broke, losing it all. They're not really hmm, making the smart decisions with their money that, or they rely too much on trying to manipulate other people. This person might have a gambling problem. They might gamble their money away. They might, you know, <laughs> Huh. Yeah, they have gambling issues. Some of them might have drinking, smoking issues. And because of that, they might be losing. They're going to lose it all trying to play with you because God might or the universe, whatever you believe in, might place you purposely with other people to see if they would try to take advantage of you, especially if you would consider yourself a kind person someone here who tries to feed off of other people's generosity could be losing it all because they didn't build a very solid foundation. Spirit, give me more for the collective. Yeah, yeah, breakthrough, new goals, new direction, moving forward, taking action and passion here. Yeah, destiny, turning points, decisive moments, lucky, good fortune, cyclic nature of life. So, yeah, you guys, some of you guys might be having new goals here, new direction, moving forward. Some of you guys, hmm. You could even even be finding a more stable job or position or just a more stable environment in general. But um, your forward moving this is coming out underneath the wheel of fortune. This is going to be about your options. Spirit, tell me more about their my viewers love options. Because I don't know why career and stuff wants to say hi. Let's focus on your love options. Okay, yeah, somebody might have went and got some advice on you from other people. This person might be trying to hold back from you. Like, you know, I'm saying maybe you may have already... You guys may have already expressed interest to each other, but this person doesn't call, doesn't text really. Maybe you want them to call you, text you more and whatnot. This person wants to call you and text you more. They just don't know what's holding them back or they wanted to see if they could try to manipulate the situation into making it only about you know the bedroom they thought maybe if you hit them up first that 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 means that they have the power and that oh why did you hit me up for you know unless you're uh acting in a certain way or you're willing to lay down with them then they're gonna act like you know <laughs> like uh well i'm not trying to talk to you unless unless it's benefiting them in a certain way which could be really hurtful maybe you sense that energy and you di didn't hit them up but because you're not hitting them up they're talking to other people about you and it's making them gain more of an interest in you because now they don't know what angle to play with you. If they felt like you wanted their attention more, you know, from the beginning, then they wanted your attention. Now they're not feeling that. Now they don't know how to flip it because maybe some of them want you more 
intimately than you care for their attention. Like, you know, so this person wants your, <laughs> your, your loving and they might be willing to, I don't know, do different things for it. This person, I don't know if it's given the best energy. These are one of those people you might be able to, to hold off on. And then of course they'll, they'll give in to you just to try to lay down with you. Outside of that, Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, Spirit, tell me more. Because I'm also seeing that there might be a more stable option involved. You, <laughs> some of this, this, this person is more stable, but you, you know, hmm, they might be a little bit different. Oh, yeah, the world, celebration, sense of belonging, harmony, fulfillment, completion, achievement. This person might be, hmm, a bit different. Maybe they're outside of your usual type or just the type of guy that liked you before. You never really gave that type of guy a chance. This person here might be able to offer you a solid foundation or female, you know, maybe it's, huh? They, they're, they're. I, I see them as a handsome person here. They just don't try as hard as the other people. That you know, and then not only that, some of you guys might be seeing them in a certain situation. Like they might look much better outside of their work clothes. There's also someone here, you know, who, hmm, who they don't know yet. They're trying to get to know you because they have too many different sides to them. They have, you know, how you act is how they would act. And that may be not be a genuine person. For this world card here, though, I'm getting this person is a very genuine person. But again, some of you guys might have to clear up blockages that are not allowing you to accept genuinity and certain love in your life. This person appreciates you though. Even if you did turn down some sort of offer, like I'm seeing someone offer you to buy you things, maybe pay for lunch, pay for something randomly. And you're like, no, no, thank you. And then you kind of try to tap into their energy a little bit more to see where they were coming from. And they appreciate that. Like you, I could feel the warmth coming off of this person because they're like, other people would have just took it and like, yeah, oh, yeah, get me lunch. And, and they would have just felt like good about it. Like, oh, I got niggas waiting on me, hand and foot. Oh, I'm spoiled. Oh, <laughs> you're like, no, I don't really need you to do that. And then you looked into them, weighed into them. Like, what was your reason for offering me this, sir? Who are you? They appreciate that. Like you're showing a lot of people here your maturity and you're making a lot of people fall into you. Exhaustion, insulting, gossipy, playing mind games, scattered brain, lack of planning and sarcastic. There could be someone here who feels like you're playing mind games with them just because you don't want to, I don't know, just give it up to them all at once. Like, I don't know. They feel like you're scattered brain, lack of plan or that, or you feel like they're playing mind games with you. This is for both. Like, you know, you got somebody that feels like you're playing games because you don't want to just get intimate and give them all the power. And then you got somebody here who feels like they wish they didn't play so many games with you. This could go underneath the world card here because they feel like there's a lot of people who like you. This person could have tried to play you. I'm hearing this person say in their head they wish they would have gave you better energy than they did that day. Like they want to come to you and like say that to you because a lot of people like they fuck with you like long story short like behind your back a lot of people are like i like her vibe i like his vibe like the way they carry themselves is i'm hearing that word regal like you know like mature some of you guys carry yourself like um like you're royalty but like royalty in like the 
the right way, not, huh, I walk in and, you know, everybody drops my feet like true royalty, like elegance, like that type of elegance that could lead the crowd here, you know? And this person wants to, I don't know, be close to you because of the support you're getting in the world, like the, the harmoniousness, the fact that you fit in somewhere. They want to. At first, maybe they thought you weren't going to fit in, or I don't know, they didn't expect people to like you as much because you might not be their classic type. I don't know. <laughs> this person, like, I don't know, but they want back in. You might even see them and feel that awkward energy. There could be a couple people here who wish they was a better vibe to you. Yeah. So, yeah, they wish they were still in, in the, the playing field with you. But a lot of people, you had to cut them out. Um, as I was saying, it could be two energies here. Yeah, untrustworthy, unproductive, intolerant, withdrawn, manipulative, emotional turbulence. Somebody, you cut your energy all from them because you see they weren't appreciating your your genuinity, that or your playfulness, your sweetness or whatnot. Now this person feels like you're cold, you're withdrawn, like you're you doing that purposely to try to manipulate them. Like, you know, I don't know. But it's like, you know, you had to take on a certain energy with them. You just don't let them in anymore because you see, like, this person could have been negative. They could have tried to make everything you did or say negative. Like, you know, you could have just said, oh, I petted a nice dog today. They're like, oh, well, if that dog would have bit you, then but And it's like, you know, like weird-ish the way you just got tired of talking to this person. They weren't very fun to talk to. <clears throat> and this person wants to ask you why you're acting different, but they feel like it's inappropriate to ask you, you know, why you're acting different. They feel like you're doing it purposely to try to manipulate them into being, I don't know, a simp or about your emotions. This person, and then, uh -huh. It might, some of you guys might benefit from speaking up if you want to, you know, because a lot of people, they're not worth the energy of, of calling out unless you, you know, because a lot of people are going to deny, they're going to give excuses, they really can't face the fact, like, you know, that they're so negative. You're stuck and can't move while returning in trouble and running away from problems, slow healing. Yeah, some people feel like you're running away from problems that they started. It, some of you guys might be trying to open your uh, throat chakra. You might have, um, yeah, that's heart chakra. Some of you guys might want to do some throat chakra meditation. Some people here might get so angry in the moment that it kind of shuts them down in conflict or that, or you're just like, you don't know what to say when people coming at you some type of way. Other people here, they want to purposely argue with you and get a chance to flip things on you just to feel some sense of powerfulness. They feel like you're running away from your problems. And really you're not, this is your life. You have the right to live it how you want to live it. If you don't want certain drama in your life, you don't have to have certain drama in your life. Some people are just full of conflict and they're fueled by it. Other people, they're, they're stress resistant. They save their, you save your stress for better things. Hermit mode, self-reflection, introspection. Some of you guys here might have started to try to make friends and feel at ease in the world. And then now you're like, oh, some people you could have gotten some disappointments to where it's making you want to close down again time to be on your own again. You're like, I'm here, oh, people are so fake. <laughs> and, and you're missing your alone time here and you wanna shut people out. It's okay to do that. If you close off your energy, I'm saying that the right people are going to, they're going to be around you. They're going to take care of you. They're going to respect the energy you have. See, I just said that and we got the three of cups, the light, 
parties, so so celebration, friendships. So right there next to the hermit mode, like there's certain people who know how to communicate with you when you're in your safe tube. Like, you know, <laughs> like when you build that barrier around yourself, there's some angels who can fly up above and still talk to you when you're you're in your your cabin in the woods or you're in your little tower like uh what's that person's name? Rapunzel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pull one more card and then some angel numbers and then we'll get out of here. Success, victory, achievement, pride, recognition, improvement, rewards, praise, acclaim. Some of you guys might be, uh, I'm seeing here that some people are talking about your work ethic or that you've done multiple things here. Some of you guys might be um, getting a lot of recognition you don't even know about on your job just for the way you do certain things, the way you carry yourself. You get a lot of respect my kid like you know <laughs> and now we're gonna pull some angel numbers success victory achievement pride recognition here yes spirit give me the best angel numbers for this pile spirit give me the best angel numbers for this pile that's five, a diamond, three of clubs, five of clubs, two fives there. I'm seeing that, that glow up energy and change energy. Something in your life is about to change probably on a material level. So it could be a change in your finances. Um, yeah changing your appearance, maybe, you know. But let's see what angel number we're going to Google it. And feel free, I always tell people to look up your own meaning. So this angel numbers, what you get from it might not be the same as what I get from it. And I think it's crazy because it's also five, three, five on the clock. Like as I'm reading this, so I'm like, I'm looking, it says five, three, five here. And then it's um, 5.35 on um, the clock. Five, three, five. Angel number. which is interesting synchronicity i would say <laughs> the significant of number 535 in angel numbers number 535 is a symbol of transformation and evolution it signifies the need to let go of old habits beliefs and patterns that no longer serve you it encourages you to embrace change and step out of your comfort zone in order to grow and expand. I just said that too. I was talking about stepping out of your comfort zone and uh, you know, you might have to date somebody who makes you feel loved, even though some people here had a bad habit of dating people who challenged them and, you know, gave you that, that cortisol, release that cortisol and, you know, go with somebody who, who makes you feel wanted, makes you feel loved, makes you feel protected. If that's hard for you to find, maybe ask the universe. Some of you guys aren't that focused on love right now and that's also okay, you know. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Help your girl grow. If you like this reading, much more coming. And happy holidays. My shirt says dead inside, but jolly as F. <laughs>